So hey guys welcome back to my channel where I talk about different stuffs related to anime and manga. So in today's video we are going to learn about different kind of softwares that are used in creating anime. So if you want to create your own anime or are curious to know about how they are made this video is for you. So first of all let me clear this that an anime creation takes a tremendous amount of time and money even for an anime studio. So if you are doing it individually I have collected a group of free softwares to make it easier for you guys but first let's understand the procedure of an anime creation phase 1 story writing or manga writing like in every movie production the creators first make a script similarly for an anime we make a manga for more detail about manga production you can check out my this video link available in the top right corner the reason why manga is so important is because it will give your story a shape and will help the animators to understand what actually they are going to animate Although the industry still uses paper drawing but it's beginning to shift more and more digital as younger animators get into the industry and this includes digital manga creation so after drawing it on pages the paper is then scanned and traced down on vacuum tools while some studios don't use paper drawing at all everything is done on softwares like krita or clip studio paint while krita is an open source software and on the other hand clip studio paint is of around 50 dollars with a 30 days trial version my recommendation for this phase is clip studio as clip studio has a lot of cool features like ai coloring trace and camera motion features which makes it one of the best softwares currently available in the market now after digitalizing the manga we need to start the animation work let's understand that an animation can be done in two ways The first one is by using the traditional method of drawing frames by frames and the other way is by creating vector images and CGI. To understand the frames by frame concept, we need to understand a video is a slide show of pictures running at a speed of 30 frames per second or even faster. This makes our mind to believe that there is some sort of video playing, but actually they are just still photos. And the same concept is used in anime creation. A studio has key animators that are assigned to create frames and a team of these animators draws the frames which are then merged to create a video whereas in vector animation we create 3D or vector images which allows the animator to move individual body parts instead of redrawing the entire character for each frame hence speeding up the process we can create vector images using adobe illustrator or inkscape Now after you have drawn your characters and background we need to animate this and for this work we first have to understand the type of animation we want 2D or 3D for 2D animation we can use pencil 2D and for 3D animation we can choose blender although blender can do 2D animation as well both are free softwares so go for blender for this phase after the basic animation is done we need to add various special effects like rain lightning which could only be done in adobe after effects you can also add various plugins to suit your needs it's easy to use features makes it my recommendation for this phase now if you guys don't want to resort to using different softwares i recommend using toons a popular animation software among anime creators as a matter of fact a well known anime studio from japan is a long standing user of this program and relied on it to create princess monomoke spirited away and various other famous animes so if you want to keep the production phase simple without resorting to third party entities then toons is the right tool for you more specifically toons harlequin and toons bravo support paperless animation workflow meaning that you don't need to externalize drawing or animation after everything is done we will edit the video To suit our needs the most widely used software is Adobe Premiere Pro and Final Cut. So the last and the final stage is sound editing. After we have created the characters and the video is almost done, we need to add voices to our characters. For voice overs, we can use Audacity and Adore for different background sound effects like the sound of breeze, rain and various others or you can directly download these sound effects available for free on the internet. To sum this video up, you can see my recommendations. Pause the video, take a screenshot for future references. 
Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this every week. Also, don't forget to like and comment down the best part. Peace out.